Hello and welcome to the video about independence. Um, I thought I had this thing recorded but I didn't so here we go. This is something that you can expect. This is something that you could expect. Okay? This is a great example. Okay? Okay. So our right-handedness and plan varsity, plan a varsity sport independent. Okay? So um, a statistics teacher at Lake Brantley High School randomly selected this many students, uh, 1,267 students from Seminole County High Schools and asked them if they were right or left-handed and whether they played a varsity sport. So since we have two categorical data, categorical um, variables, we could set up what's called a two-way table or a contingency table, okay? and you want to get good at this because you're going to have to do it okay so um, let's look at this you have two variables it doesn't matter which where you put which one okay so here is a varsity sport and what I'm doing is setting up a contingency table contingency tables are made up of two categorical variables okay you'll never see something with quantitative variables here all right varsity sport and my other one is my handedness And my two outcomes for varsity sports is yes, they've played varsity sports, or yes, they play varsity sports currently, or no, they don't play varsity sports. For handedness, it's either you're a right hander or a left hander. Now, they could give you this problem just in general and say, do you think that these two, do you think these two variables are independent? Do you think that playing a varsity sports depended on depends on if you're right or left handed? Probably not. Are it probably is independent. Like they don't. What I'm saying is they don't have any. They don't have any effect on the other one. Okay. One usually doesn't depend on the other. Okay. And this is my total. And this is my total. This is my total for the rows, which are these guys over here, my handedness, and these are the totals for my. These are the totals for my columns. Okay? So make sure you're comfortable with rows and columns. Okay. So now let's get into the data. Now, out of the out of the 12 1267 student surveys, 160 were left-handed. So what that means, if you watch the other video, you kind of seen how this thing works. This is left-handed. These are the left-handed that played and this is left-handed that didn't, but this is the total, so that would go under 160 okay these are all the left handers okay so how would I get the right handers well if there's 1267 students and you have 160 left handers then the rest of them then the rest of them have to be right handers so to set up this table you would just say that it's just algebra it's like 160 plus what number equals 1267 so you would just subtract the 160 okay subtract the 160 if you like doing that I just move it over and subtract it and um, uh, let's see uh, what does that come out to be I'm 160 27 70 1107 1107 okay so let me just make sure that I'm right here 1107 so 1107 is the total number of righties that was in my group okay all right, so now let's look. Now that's the totals here. So now we have to go after the insides because I'm saying out of the out of the 160 that were left-handed, okay. So these are the 160 that were left-handed. How many played varsity sports? This is yes for varsity sports. So I come down here and I say 128. Okay. All right. Out of the now I could fill this one out using the same method. 128 plus what gives me 160? 128 plus what gives me 160 and that would be 32 if you did it out okay so now let's look at the next one I have a um, 1,107 right-handers okay out of these that were right-handers how many played varsity sports this is the yes so 880 so don't lose I need to get this thing very basic 880 plus what number gives you 1107 if you do 1107 minus 880 you'll get 227 okay so now that we have those, 
this is the total this is the this is all all people okay we usually call this n you'll learn later and this would be my sample cuz these people are kind of like I surveyed them so I picked them randomly I'll say okay so we had a total of 1267 this number plus this number has to equal this number and this number plus this number has to equal this number okay so let's do that this is 8 okay this is um, I'll just do it the long way and 2 so just verify that these things add up so that's 1000 259 plus 8, 6967, 1067. So this is my contingency table, okay? So now let's talk about independence, okay? So to get independence, you have to get a conditional distribution, and I'll do those in, in, um, in uh, color, okay? And we're going to do, we're interested in the percent, percent of handedness, I'll just call it hand, the percent of hand that play sports. I'm going to do it both ways and show you why this is the one that we do, okay? Because people make the mistake and sometimes they'll do the wrong way and that's fine. If you do it the wrong way on the test, I'm going to take it as long as you explain what you did the correct way. Because sometimes if you do them backwards, you could get different answers, okay? For example, this would be if I did it this way, okay? And um, let's let's see if this is a row or a column. Okay, when I showed you this on the last video, I actually made a mistake, and um, hopefully you caught that. I'm going to talk about it in class. Okay, just running through too fast. So the percent of hand handedness that plays sports. So I'm, this is my who. This is my who. So the who would be how many? Okay. So let me pull up my calculator. And I want to find the percent of righties that play varsity sports. The percent of righties that play varsity sports. So there's 1107 that play varsity sports, and there's 880 of them. So 880 divided by 1107. And I get 79.5%. Um, okay, is everybody clear? So... So these are that played varsity sports. So these are the people that aren't going to play varsity sports. So that's going to be 227 divided by 1107. So you could do a complement rule or just add up the difference. So that's going to be 20.5%. Okay, so this is a row. I'm doing rows. Okay, so let's, let's look at this. 128. Uh, uh, okay, what percent of lefties played varsity sports? So 128. Uh, divided by 160. Remember, the lefties is what I'm interested in, and that's 80%. Uh, so this would be 20%. Okay, and I'll just show you that. 32 divided by 160. It should be exactly 0.2, and it is. Okay, so, so that's a row percent. Now we can answer our question, because the question is, is does, is handedness, in varsity sports independent, meaning that does being a righty or a lefty either increase the chance of you playing a varsity sport, okay, or, or is there a difference between the percentage of righties that play varsity sports and lefties? Is there a difference between this guy and this guy? If you look at the definition of independence, it says that the percentages of the other variable are the same, okay, the percentage of the, the percentage of one one variable is the same across the other. The per, it's hard. It's hard. I've read it a million times. It's still a little tricky sometimes. Is the percentages of the conditional distribution are the percentages from one variable the same across the other variable? If that's true, then they're independent. Okay. I can't say that enough. Okay. So so you look and you'd say okay. You, you could say 79.5%, this is how you would explain it, of right play varsity sports, okay? And 80% of lefties. 
play varsity sports. So since being righty or lefty or since being righty or lefty had about the had about the same chance of playing varsity sports they are they are probably prob independent okay I need to write slower okay and you are done all right <clears throat> Hope you all see that. So I'm going to do a quick one down here on a column percent and show you why you run into problems if you sometimes pick the wrong way. Okay? And I'll do this really, really quick, and it's very, very easy to see. So let's let's say we wanted the column, the column, and the column would be what percent of varsity sport players if you play if you if a yes to varsity what's the probability that you're a righty okay so that would be 880 over 1008 880 divided by 108 do you all see that i'm doing the column percent the conditionals for the columns okay so so of those who were varsity sports um 87.3% were righties okay now now the the other one would be the, the the rest of that, okay? The rest of that to get me the to one. So I'm not going to do it on a calculator. That's going to be one, two point seven percent, twelve point seven percent, okay? So so let's look at this one. Uh, what percent of people who didn't play varsity sports were righties? Okay, so that's two two seven divided by two two seven divided by Two five nine. Okay, so basically it was about the same. So there's really no difference this way either. See, so even if you do it this way, you're going to get about the same answer. One two four percent. So you you you'll get the same. Okay, but don't try to compare these two, because this is just this is basically you you could turn around and say, well, more righties play varsity sports and lefties yeah because you have more righties than lefties in your population or <laughs> in your sample in your sample you have a lot more righties than lefties so of course yeah like you know you want to if you get columns if if you do columns you're comparing rows you're p comparing across your rows for independence okay for now if you're doing you see how we did rows if you do rows you're comparing the columns okay so if you do rows you're comparing columns if you do columns you're comparing the row differences see how there's no difference there they're independent which is what we expected okay so hopefully this didn't run on too much hopefully you understand make sure you come to me for help thanks for watching have a nice day